Hello, this is Ligia Hube. Hello, my dear people. You may have noticed that I have been away from from social media, you know, not to connect in that much lately because I was taking care of some personal matters. However, because I love to connect, I love to connect with you. And I love to bring these messages with the hope that you take away something that may help you. I want to bring this message today that is very special. It is very special because it is inspired by my mother. My beloved mom is 100 years old and she lives with me. And this morning I was talking with the lady who takes care of her when I come, you know, to work. And she was telling me, this lady, that, you know, late, earlier today she was, she was rubbing her knee because she was in pain. And my mother looked at her and asked her, what happens? What happens to your knee? And she told her, well, I am in pain, she said. It hurts a lot. And my mother told her, Stop thinking about the pain. Don't think about it and you will feel better. When this lady told me what my mother had told her, I was amazed. I was like, oh my God, my mom is a hundred years old. And she told her what I've been saying all this time what my message is about because I work with people going through losses, going through, through pain. And what we talk is not to stay dwelling in the pain, to recognize it because it's really important. However, it's a diff there's a difference between recognizing the pain and dwelling on it. And by coincidence, if we were going to say that, I was talking to a friend, a very dear friend, childhood friend. This morning, I was actually telling her that my mom never complains. Never complains. And I was actually, you know, reviewing my mom's life because she lost her husband, my father, 48 years ago. A month after that, she lost her mom, and she was very close to her mother, the same that I am to her. She was very close to her mother. A year after that, there was a huge earthquake in my country, in my homeland. I am from Nicaragua, so in the capital, Managua, it was a huge earthquake. She lost her house, the building of my father's business, she lost, she had so many losses. And after that, many other things. And now, you know, with being 100 years old, you can just imagine how many changes she has gone through. How many losses, limitations that aging brings to us. However, she never complains never it's incredible and now when she told her you know the lady this stop thinking about the pain you will feel better now i know her secret and that's a beauty and that's why i wanted to to share it with you because it is totally in line what i tell you in these messages when something happens to us, when we are going through, through a pain, because it happens to all of us. It is not that because I bring this message, I don't go through challenging situations, painful situations. Of course I do. I am a human being. However, I choose not to stay there. I choose not to dwell because what happens when we dwell on what has happened to us, the pain, we stay there and they, there and there and there, and we stay stuck in the pain. 
So remember, when something happens to you and you experience this painful emotion, recognize it, validate it, process it, and then release it. Remember the four steps. Recognize it, validate it, process it, and then release it. That's why I told you that this was a special message because it is inspired in my 100 years old mom. I hope that can inspire you as well. I wish you a beautiful day and I have sent this message to you. I have brought it with all my love, with all my care. It is a message of strength and hope. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.